Today, the nation remembers the servicemen and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. That's right. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Venice right now where that community banded together to restore a Vietnam War memorial hit by vandals just last year. Dave? It's a very special place, uh, very simple wall, names, uh, some decorative items. It's on the 600 block of Pacific Avenue in Venice, so there's no parking. It's a busy street, and uh, walking here is a little difficult. But people have been coming by, paying their respects, taking a look at a very important piece of history here in Venice, a piece of history that was all but destroyed a year ago. The best way to describe today's rededication of the Venice POW MIA mural on Pacific Avenue is from despair to euphoria. Really great, I mean, all the names are back. All 2,273 names, just the way Peter Stewart, a Vietnam veteran, designed the wall back in 1991. It was a year ago this weekend that the disaster part hit. Just no respect for what this is, so I'm, I'm just mad and sad. Vandals, for whatever reason, had defaced this wall a year ago just before last Memorial Day. 1,000 names were wiped out. The community itself was sickened by this, this act. So they did something about it. A $10,000 donation from Southern California Gas Company helped restore this wall. Volunteers painstakingly replaced all the names. And today, the euphoria, the rededication. This gives me goosebumps. Goosebumps and inspiration. An impromptu request to raise money to make sure the wall isn't defaced again. People started giving cash instantly. And city council member Mike Bonin, who represents this district, donated a thousand dollars. We had a few family members come up and say, oh, I'm so glad you brought back, you know, my uncle or my, uh, you know. So special. Yeah, so it was very special. Stewart, who died nine years ago, said he was inspired to paint this mural in 1991 because he didn't want people to forget the sacrifices of the Vietnam veterans. The community has not, and they promise they won't. So it's back, freshly painted, beautifully put. Inspirational. What happened to the uh, vandals that uh, tried to destroy it? Well, it actually happened twice. In the first case, the graffiti uh, culprit was found guilty, uh, actually pleaded no contest, and did four years in state prison. As for the second incident, they're still looking for them. But it's back. Back to the studio.